Jerry, are we about ready? Just, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much set. Hey, it's mid to late summer and you may ask, where are the crappies at? Well, they're definitely set up. They're not in transition. And now is the time of year where crappies, like we're targeting today, are going to be on edges, whether it's deep weed edges or some type of a bottom composition transition from like mud to sand. And one thing is we've got great weather today. That's one thing about crappies. They tend to be low light feeders. We've got overcast conditions today. So the fish should be active throughout most of the day. The other thing is we did a little research on this lake through the DNR website and found out this one's loaded with big crappies. So with any luck in the skies we've got, we're gonna catch some really nice fish. All right, Dano. There's one. Nice. That feels like a good one. Decent. How do you like that? Hard bait crappies. Today, what Dan and I are looking at is catching these guys. In midsummer, things are well established right now in terms of where the fish are at this time of year. And we're kind of on a search and destroy mission. Both of us have fished this particular lake in the spring, but we've never been out here in the summer. So lakes change a lot. And right now it's, uh, you know, we're looking at weed lines, we're looking at deeper humps, and we're really using our electronics. Oh, Dan just rolled one. Using our electronics to see where we can uh, find concentrations of fish. So we didn't even wet a line until we drove around a little bit and looked at, uh, looked where we might find some fish. And sure enough, boom, they're, they're right here. So there's a nice one. Got him. Sweet. Man, they're just, Slapping that thing. Nice fish. Let's see if I can get him in. How do you like that? That's a nice crappie, huh? Unbelievable. You know, so many people when it comes to fishing panfish are always looking for live bait, right? That's the that's the deal. Get your bucket of minnows, get your crawlers, get whatever. But the deal is artificials can be killer. Woo. So you know, right now we're fishing with a bait called the slab wrap. Now this is kind of a hybrid. It's almost like, it's like a rattle bait, but not necessarily. And it's been a dynamite ice fishing bait. And I've found in, in uh, recent times here, a lot of guys are fishing this for walleye. They're fishing it for perch. They're fishing it for a lot of different things, not just ice fishing. It happens to be one of those tools. You can cast and wind it, count it down because it sinks to fish whatever depth the fish are suspended at. But also you can fish it vertically. So. We're kind of casting right now, but every once in a while on the graph, like right behind Dan right now, I see two big fish on the screen. You can drop it down on top of the fish and dunk. It's just like ice fishing, man. This is sweet. There he is. Got him. Another nice one. Another tanker, Dano. Oof. Look at the size of that one. Holy mackerel. Wow. Do you want me to get the net? <laughs> we might have to get the net for some of these. Wow, this is a, a jumbo here. I got those, those hooks are so s small in this bait. Wow, look at the size of that fish, man, huh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's the deal is having a go. bait. Oh, Dan's hooked one. up. Versatility is totally the deal. So we don't need to be dipping our hands in minnow buckets. Wow, oh, that. that's a jumbo, huh? Well, all we got to do is drop down and catch. Oh, another tank. We're going to have to get a shot of, <laughs> oh man. I'm going to put this one in the well so we can get a picture of both of us with these tanks. Wow, this, this is another moose. The moose is loose. How'd you like that? That we could just see him down there and wow. crack. Hang on. And I get, get a grip. Ooh, the oh, hook popped perfect. out perfect. Look at the size of those things, man. <laughs> That is a big, big crappie. Wow, holy shnikes. Holy shnikes is right. Let's get her back. Hey, put him in the live bowl. We'll get a picture okay. of a double. There's a nice one. Got another one? Another tank. Oh, we're just on a, oh, I got a big gill. Hey, that's not bad. Not a huge gill. I'm just getting excited. We're just creaming fish right now. It's amazing how important electronics are. So this time of year, Electronics are absolutely vital for finding, finding fish. And now most of the time you'll find crappies, bluegills, etc. They're related to the, to the weed line for the most part. But 
What we found here is it's not only weed lines, it can be bottom composition. So these fish are feeding on bugs almost exclusively. So we've got a big mud basin out here and it's only comes up, basically it's 23 feet around it. It maybe comes up to 21, 22, 20 feet, something like that. But it goes from mud to sand. And on that transition, they're just panfish all over the place. So it's not a typical spot you'd probably be looking for. Most people would focus on the weed line, but look at those transition changes as well because they can be hot spots for finding big concentrations of fish. This is unbelievable. You can see, look at, there's fish there. Obviously a big school of fish. You can see more on DI. All these little shadows out here, doop, 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 doop. Those are fish. You can see it's coming up to a little bit of a high spot here. However, once we get on top, it doesn't seem the, the fish are there. So let me just rip you over to this first waypoint that I marked here and you're gonna see what I'm talking about in terms of a bottom composition change. You can see a couple more fish. Now look at that, that's a huge pile of fish that's pretty close to that, that waypoint. Look at it, see this? As soon as we get to the edge here, boom, absolutely loaded, loaded with fish. And see what they're relating to? I'm just gonna pause it here. This is the kind of stuff that you're looking for. This right here, do you see how it's kind of this bright white signature here? And then it gets to a little bit of a, a darker color here. Basically that is that line. And that's what the fish are relating to. See there, these little specks right through here, right here, right here, right there. Those are all crappies. Now there's even one that's showing up there, but they're very, very close to the edge of that. So it's, it's much like fishing a weed line when you're fishing these bottom changes. You're just kind of holding back and you're, you're, you're fishing the edge of that. So there's not cover there. It's not the traditional thinking of panfish that they're in weeds and they're right off the edge of the weeds. It's bottom composition changes. Now that's not to say that crappies and bluegills don't use weed lines a ton in the summer, but this is an area that most people very seldom look at and it produces tons of fish. And these areas will produce starting in pretty much July and this will go all the way into the winter time.